Hello, in this iOS SDK Objective-C video, we're going to show you how to send data using GET and POST methods. We've already connected to a URL. If you don't have this code, don't worry. There'll be a link in the description to the GitHub page, which has the source code from this video, plus this source code that we created in a separate video plus there'll be another link in the description to this setup video as well so once you've done all of that what we're going to do is send some data to our server and based on the data we send we're going to react accordingly so we've got a couple of if statements set up we just check the get and post data. This is in PHP, but if you're using a different language, that's fine as well, because I'm sure you, you know how to use get and post methods on your web page. So to get do the get method first, it's really simple. You just do question mark and now the actual variable name or the key. I'm going to put var get as you can see we are checking for var get as the variable for the get post me I mean for the get method and we're just going to assign it the value of hello and as you can see if it's successful you'll return hello mr get if it's not successful you'll return how rude get and you'll also actually you know what I'm just going to comment this out so this doesn't conflict with what we're doing. And now, if I run this, we don't care about what's in here at the moment. And it's not working because we're using the wrong URL. We need to do send data.php instead of the URL connect. My bad, so send data.php. We run this and we should now get hello, Mr. Get. And now we got a response of hello, Mr. Get. What if we were to put a number seven here? Because we're not checking for that condition. So really, we should get how rude get. As you can see, how rude get it wasn't a valid piece of data according to our condition statement on our web page the variable name or the key is case sensitive as is the data you can send numbers if you want so you can just send the number seven but i'm just going to keep it with strings and this is also case sensitive as well just something to bear in mind so we've got the get method set up. The post method requires a bit of extra effort due to its nature. If you want to know the difference between get and post methods, we'll have a link in the description that explains the advantages and disadvantages of using get and post for sending data. First of all, we are going to create a string. This is going to be ns string asterisk post equals and this is going to be our variables so instead of putting it like so we're going to put it in a string do var post equals hello we're also checking for these conditions as well i'm actually going to comment this out and just echo these out we'll save that and now what we're going to do is ns data. This is going to be called post data. We're going to do assign it the value of post data using encoding. And for this, we're just going to specify ns ASCII string string encoding. And for allow lossy conversion conversion we're just going to assign it the value of yes so now we've actually got the post data all set up we just need to assign it to our request so to do that not too difficult but we need to do one last thing we need to actually get the length of our post data so we're going to put ns string equals 
ns string string with format hmm that's not what I want ah. no wonder I haven't set a name to the ns string so I need to put post no asterisk post length I don't know how I missed that out equals to ns string string with format and for this I'm just gonna put at quotation marks in here I'm gonna put percent LU which is just a long unsigned integer and we're going to put unsigned long just make sure it's cast to the right data type post data length semicolon and now what we can do is request set http method and for this is post see the difference with post you have to set the method type because again due to its nature it is slightly different and we'll have a URL in the description which just discusses the differences. I'm gonna do request set value and for the set value we want this one. For this we're gonna do post length and for the HTTP header field we are just going to specify at quotation marks and in here we're going to put content dash length so it knows what this data is now we're going to do request set value and for this we're going to put at quotation marks application for slash x dash www dash form dash url encoded if you know how to actually modify this sort of stuff like the, basically the content type then feel free to change it otherwise just stick with this one and for this it's content dash type again so it knows what the actual data that it's dealing with is used for or given for what is its purpose Finally, we just do request set HTTP body, and for this we just put post data semicolon, and now everything else just runs as it was. So we can run this now. As you can see, it's done hello, Mr. Post. It Pretty much you can essentially say skip this because all of this is commented out inside. It checked was there a post value called var post? Oopsie daisy, it's down this page. There was because we set it right here. Again, it's case sensitive, just like the get values. And then it checked what was its data. Was it hello? Because it was, it echoed out hello, Mr. Post. But if, let's say, I were to just remove one out, this is no longer the same as this. It should not return, hello, Mr. Post. It has returned, how rude post. So that's how you send data using the get and post methods. All the links that I mentioned will be in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our free education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will also be a link in the description for that. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.